How do you think social media has helped in that sense, like specifically? I think people just connecting. Like mm -hmm. I would not be anywhere if I did not have social media grown because mm -hmm. I was told you cannot do certain things. You're not going to be sexy. Nobody will pay for anything. And it, was, and it wasn't even just about paying for things. I really didn't expect to make a lot of money or have such success. I just wanted to express myself and finally be free. Mm -hmm. So there was years that I was not like, you know, benefiting financially a lot from this. I mean, I did comic cons and stuff, but I really think just people being able to see someone as their authentic selves. And, you know, I think Hollywood tries to separate us a lot mm -hmm. from like they, they, they want just certain kinds of people usually, I mean, that might be changing more now, but they want people to fit in like in certain types of roles. But I think the audience is like, they're interested in a lot more stuff than Hollywood has to offer for them. Yeah. I really saw that. Yeah. I, I definitely feel the same way. It's like, you know, before social media came along in the internet, we were told by a small group of people in power that yes, this is what exactly people want to see. Yes, that's exactly and, it. And so that's yeah. what they put out. And so that's what we see in that's the media. What, yes. And we're like, oh, well, this is what everybody wants because yeah. this is all I ever see. Yeah. And Cosmopolitan's telling me that this is like right. what people want. And then, yeah, when the internet came along, um, suddenly people could actually look and seek what they wanted to see right. as opposed to like what they were just fed. Right. And, and then with social media, people were able to interact directly and say like, right. I actually like this thing. I don't necessarily right. like this thing, even though we've been led to believe that you like this thing. Right. Like, just like how the publicist told me, you know, no 25 year old, only a 25 year old can be sexy mm -hmm. and who make a living at it. And it's like, they were wrong. And like so many of the most successful people in the adult industry are over the age of 30. Which is amazing too. It's yeah. amazing. It's so impressive. Yeah. I mean, for me, I think it, it speaks to, you know, women coming into their own and being comfortable in their own sexuality. And I think the fans really respond to that. Yeah. And that usually doesn't happen for us until we're older, I think. Yeah, that's true. You know, it comes along with like life experience and everything. Oh, yeah. 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 And I really feel I couldn't have done it when I was younger. I really needed to take a, a longer journey. I was not confident enough mm -hmm. in myself yeah. to, at all. Uh, I had, you know, a lot of hangups. I wasn't comfortable with my body or with, you know expressing myself like that. Even though I had desires for that, I wasn't ready. Mm -hmm. So I'm amazed that some young girls can come in and be so confident and like express themselves like that. I would, yeah. I needed a lot of, of years of discovery, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I can absolutely relate to that. Um, so you were the only main cast member from Boy Meets World that did not appear on the 2014 spinoff Girl Meets World. Do you think your budding career in porn had something to do with that? You know what? I wasn't even doing porn at that time. I was just doing my sexy pictures on Instagram that were getting ticked off. So do you think like- <laughs> It did. Absolutely did. Absolutely. Because you're saying the main cast members, they had people that were like, had little roles on the show come back. Yeah. Yeah. And it was like, um, yeah, it definitely, they did not like that I had like this new sexy image and I was getting attention from it. And I was getting a lot of press at the time, a lot of press on like my red carpet appearances and uh, the booby blogs were really big at that mm -hmm. point. <laughs> and so I got a lot of attention from that and stuff. And I was really having fun with that. And I was wearing these sexy dresses and costumes, my, a lot of my cosplay stuff. And uh, yeah, that just turned them the, the wrong way. They didn't like that. <laughs> yeah. And probably you would have taken away uh, the spotlight from a lot of other people. On it could show. be. And also in a, in a. I guess a more controversial way. Yeah, like, in a way that they didn't want. They didn't want, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's true, yeah. You wrote about growing up in a very um, Christian conservative household where sex was very much taboo. Do you think that that influenced how you viewed sex? Oh, absolutely. Especially like my grandmother, she was very conservative with her, her sexuality and Christianity and everything like that. I mean, not to the point where some people have really conservative parents. My parents they were very loving and, and have become so open-minded and like so supportive of me and everything. But I think everybody just wanted the best for me. Like, I think there was a lot of people in Hollywood who had bad intentions in that way to keep me in a box like that. Mm -hmm. I think my parents just were so worried something would happen to me or, and that I should, you know, follow a straight line and be good and like get, you'll get everything you want and you know, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. But, um, it definitely influenced me because I thought everything, everything I thought about sex was like bad or yeah. like it was like, it was taboo. It was naughty. I can't, you know, do that. But I also realized like, as I went along, I put a lot of that on myself. Mm. Like I would hear things, of course, my grandmother wouldn't want me to, she, yeah, she's in her grave now. So, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, uh, I thought that people would react 
differently to me than they have when I'm in, when I express myself and how I, you know, wanted to be sexually and everything. So I think I, I came, I came to terms that I was like responsible for a lot of like what I thought. I just had such anxiety and Hollywood put a lot on that too. Right. So you were very surprised by the feedback that you got. When oh, you absolutely. Putting, you expected people to like, you know, be yeah. incredibly negative towards you, all the things that you had heard from the people yeah. that you worked with in Hollywood. And then yeah. the opposite was true. Yeah, the opposite was true. And I think that's true with a lot of things in life. It doesn't just have to be porn or or Hollywood or anything. You could, you know, people are, especially women a lot are told you can't do something, you can't be something. No. But mm -hmm. people that are telling you no all the time don't want you to succeed mm -hmm. or they would, you know, encourage you or help you, you know. Mm -hmm. But I did find a lot of people, once I did speak that truth, they were very accepting and supportive. And they were interested. You know, I get a lot of people asking questions about porn. And I think they feel, I don't know, they feel like, not just my friends, but are like fans and stuff. I, they feel like they know me a little better. Like I was in their living room and I've been mm -hmm. in things that they know that are mainstream that aren't so, mm -hmm. you know, scandalous. But they, they're like, I feel safe asking her certain questions mm -hmm. and stuff. So it's, it's cool. I like when they do that.